This video was made in collaboration with Chad from MicroDelight's Micrograins. He offers sterilized grain jars and substrate bags, inoculated grain jars, egg or petri dishes, liquid cultures, and other accessories, as well as grow kits and seeds for microgreens. His website can be found in the video's description. By making grain spawn jars for growing mushrooms, you are able to grow almost any type of cultivatable mushroom. This is an easy way to get into growing mushrooms and the most expensive piece of equipment needed is a pressure cooker. There are two kinds of lids that can be made. A metal canning jar lid that is disposable as it may start to rust after a while, and a plastic one that is reusable. The metal canning jar lids have a quarter inch hole where half of a cotton ball is pushed inside and another hole to fit a self-healing injection port. The plastic lids have a hole for a self-healing injection port and a hole for a syringe filter that is held in place with a high temperature silicon gasket sealer. One cup of raw grains can make one jar of grain spawn, as water will be used to cause the grains to expand. There are many types of grain that can be used for mushroom spawn, such as rye, wheat, brown or white rice, wild bird seeds, and popcorn. The most common grain used is rye, which was used in this video. Rinse the grain about three to five times in cold water to make it cleaner. Soak the grain for 12 to 24 hours so it can absorb some moisture and become hydrated. In the soaking process, you add the gypsum, one teaspoon for five gallons. Gypsum is added to act as a mineral supplement to help stabilize the pH levels and prevent the grains from sticking together. Using a large pot, bring the grains to a boil and let them simmer for around 15 minutes. This causes them to further soften up and absorb moisture, making the mycelium spread more effectively. While the grain is boiling, you can lay out a towel with parchment paper on top. The jars and lids are cleaned with rubbing alcohol. After about 15 minutes, sift the grains and lay them onto the parchment paper.
When all the grains are on it, spread them out so they can cool down. After a few minutes, the grains can be flipped over to cool quicker. You can tell the grains are ready when they don't leave a lot of water on a napkin. Fill the grain into the jars about three quarters full and screw on the lids. Add the tinfoil over the lids to keep water from getting into the jars during the sterilization. To sterilize the jars, they are placed inside of a pressure cooker. It is recommended to sterilize the jars for 90 minutes at 15 psi. An instant pot that only goes to 13 psi can be used but the jars will be left in about 30 minutes longer. This will get rid of any contaminants in the jars and grain. With the sterilized grain jars, you can inoculate the grain with a liquid mushroom culture, a culture grown on agar, or with a grain-to-grain -grain transfer. The sterilized grain jars are susceptible to contamination before the mycelium has fully colonized them. So try to do things in a sterile environment to reduce potential contaminants. Once the mycelium has fully colonized the grain jar, you can add it to a bulk substrate to start growing mushrooms or use it to make more grain spawn. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of video, leave any comments, feedback, or suggestions in the comment section.